Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to integrate Spring Boot 3.0 with AWS Secrets Manager. You may have an application which needs properties referencing credentials, API keys, tokens and whatnot. AWS Secrets Manager is a service which helps store and manage these secrets securely. Let's go ahead and see how we can integrate Spring Boot application with AWS Secrets Manager. Now the first thing I'll do is go to start.spring.io and generate a Maven project for our demo. So here is the project that I just downloaded from start.spring.io. If you open the pom.xml, it shows we are using 3.0.6 version of Spring Boot. And there's standard dependency of uh, Spring Boot Starter and Spring Boot Starter Test. That's all we have at the moment. If we go to the Spring Cloud AWS documentation website, they have a section for secrets manager integration. All we need to do is add a dependency in our maven pom.xml. The group ID would be io.awsspring.cloud and artifact ID is Spring Cloud AWS Starter Secrets Manager. Now in this page, they have not given a version because that's derived from the bill of materials, which has a dependency management to pull all the versions. But for this demo, I'll be specifying a specific version 3.0.1. So I'll go back to the pom.xml and paste the dependency here. You see the version I've used is 3.0.1. Next, we go to SRC main resources and we have an application.properties which is empty at the moment because this is a newly generated uh, project. So we'll add a property called spring.config.import and the value for that would be aws-secrets manager colon slash secret slash my test secret. Now the portion after the colon that is slash secret slash my test secret. This is the name of the secret which would be stored on AWS secret manager. And the first part tells Spring Boot that look for the secret from AWS secret manager. With this configuration, let's go ahead and run the application and see what happens. So I just ran the main class of this project. So seems like it failed. Let's take a look what happened. So here it's saying application failed to start due to an exception. If we scroll down a bit, here the real exception is unable to load credentials from any of these providers. That's because we haven't provided any AWS credentials. So it doesn't know where to look up for these secrets. So next we'll provide the AWS credentials and run the application again. So I'll go to edit configurations and in the environment variables, I'll paste the AWS access key and AWS secret access key and then apply and then I'll say, okay. Now let's run the application again to see if there's any difference. Looks like it failed again. If we scroll up, it says application failed to start due to an due to an exception. If we scroll down, it says uh, resource not found exception. Secret manager can't find the specified secret. So the secret that we have mentioned in the properties file it doesn't actually exist because we haven't created the secret yet. So when the application is starting up, it fails because it cannot find that secret. Now there may be scenario where uh, you still want your application to start up properly even if it doesn't find a secret. So in that case all we need to do is specify an optional tag here just before AWS-Secrets Manager. What this optional tells is uh, it will tell Spring Boot to do not fail the application in case there's any exception looking up for the secrets. So let's uh, try again running the application again with this optional attribute. So if you see here, the application has started successfully. Now let's take a look what it did with the secrets. So here it's saying starting the application. Here it's trying to load secrets from AWS Secret Manager. 
with the name as slash secret slash my test secret and here if you see optional is true that's because we added this optional uh, here in the properties now what it printed out in the logs is unable to load the AWS secrets from this uh, location because it cannot find the specified secret and that's expected because we haven't created the secret yet but if you notice the application didn't fail it went ahead and started successfully now as a next step let's go ahead and create the secret in AWS secrets manager I am on the AWS management console home page and I'll click on secrets manager link since there's no secrets created let's go ahead and store a new secret now here there are multiple options to create what type of secret it is uh, it can be a secret for amazon rds database or a document db database or redshift and so on and so forth i'll just select other type of secret and here it gives you an option for providing key value pairs so let's say the first key i put it as my dash first dash secret and let's say the value as password one right it's just a made up uh, secret not the actual password just for illustration purposes um, I'll add another secret here I'll say my second secret and let's say the value is password 2 now encryption key I'll leave it as default which is AWS secrets manager I'll select next on this page it asks for a secret name the secret name has to be the name which was defined in the uh, application dot properties so here I'll put the value as slash secret slash my test secret you can provide any uh, description here I'll just say my test secret I'll leave the tags as optional I'll click on next this is just the summary I'll click on next and finally I'll click on store and it will store the secret for me now if I go back to the AWS secrets manager and click on secrets uh, it will show me the secret that I just created if I click on the secret name here it will take me to the details like the ARN and stuff if I want to see what values the secret has I'll just click on retrieve secret value so here it shows two key value pairs which are stored like my first secret and my second secret and the value as password 1 and password 2 respectively now that the secret has been created let's run the application again and see what happens this time too the application started successfully it tried to load the secrets from secret manager with the name slash secret slash my test secret with the optional flag as true but now you don't see that error which was coming previously right that's because the secret now exists and it was able to successfully load the secret now you may ask how do we know for sure that it actually loaded the secret from AWS secrets manager for that let's add some code to verify that so I'll go to Java main uh, the main class here and I'll add a bean here of type application runner what this will do is this will run this code once the application starts up now if you notice I am referencing here at value annotation and I'm giving uh, a value as dollar in curly braces my first secret this is the same key that we had in the secrets manager my first secret and the value is that we are expecting is password one so in the code here uh, I, I just print out the secret loaded from AWS secret manager and then the value of this my first secret now when we run this we expect the value password one to be printed now let's go ahead and see if that's really the case so I'm running the application now if you see it's loaded the secret and finally it printed secret loaded from AWS secret manager and the value is password one and that's what we expected right now if I go ahead and change this to 
my second secret and run the application again uh, we should see the value as password 2 which is the value for my second secret now let's see if that's really the case so it finished and now it printed the value as password 2 so it's in it so it's indeed going to aws secrets manager and fetching the values from there now this code was just for demonstration purposes so in reality the way you would want to use this uh, property right is from application dot properties so let's say you have a custom property called my dot custom dot property and the value you want is some kind of secret which is stored in aws secret manager right now you can refer to that using the dollar sign and in the curly braces you can say my first secret it's the same way that we had referred here using the at value annotation now we are using the same in a properties file now what will happen when spring boot is starting up is it will load the secrets from aws secrets manager and then inject the value of my first secret into the property named my custom property and then spring boot will use this property wherever it's being referenced in the classes so you see how easy that was right all we did was added a dependency for spring cloud aws starter secrets manager and that's it um, it went ahead and loaded the properties one thing to note here is the version 3.0.1 is compatible with spring boot 3.0 and above now in your application if you are using uh, spring boot 2.0 there's the version that you want to use for spring cloud aws starter secrets manager is 2.4.4 which is the latest version compatible with spring boot 2.0 one last thing i would like to show you is let's say you want to load multiple secrets right in this case there were only one secret so if you have more than one secret which you want to load all you have to do is separate them using semicolon and then provide the next secret name so when this spring boot application starts up it will load all uh, all the secrets that are semicolon separated and provided in the properties file if i try to run this application now it will try to load both these secrets let's see if it prints that uh, both secrets in the logs so it started successfully now first it tried to load secrets uh, name secrets slash web client secrets and it gave an error saying uh, it cannot uh, load that secret because it doesn't exist because we never created a secret with this name but if you notice uh, it was successfully able to load slash secret slash my test secret because that was available in the aws secrets manager so this is how you can load uh, multiple secrets so that's all I had to cover as part of this video. Thanks for watching.